What is up ladies and gentlemen, Steph here with another episode of Staff Shorts just for you. Today we're going to be talking It'll Do 2, we're going to be talking about the PlayStation Pro and the massive connection issues it's had just recently, and we're also going to talk about YouTube going full HDR. All this and more coming up in today's episode of Staff Shorts. So, it'll do too, what is it? It is a game that will go live in Dashboard for you guys tomorrow morning. It'll do too is a very cartoony dungeon crawler where you wield magical weapons and try and solve great mysteries of time. As you can see in the background, it's a very, very cute aesthetic. The cutscenes are really well done. This is developed by a small indie studio who reached out to us and was like, guys, would you like to feature our gaming dashboard? We were like, yes, please. So it'll do too, as you can see, is very much similar to Binding of Isaac, just with a more cutesy art style. So that's it'll do too. Pick up a copy tomorrow from Get Games in your Freedom Dashboard and submit a video on it to claim more great keys and so we can bring you more great stuff. Next up, let's talk about HDR support on YouTube. So HDR on YouTube, what is HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and it enhances things like colour palettes and light to dark contrast. As you can see behind me we have an original image here and then it improved by HDR. The links to this will be in the description so you guys can see it for yourself. HDR basically allows more vibrant, more vivid colours and a higher level of contrast between things like shadows and then brighter colours, making for an overall better looking picture. So, guys, if you're not familiar with HDR, do a little bit of reading up on it and maybe incorporate some HDR work into your editing flows to get outstanding visual quality. And finally, we're going to talk about a little bit of PlayStation Pro news. So, Sony's new PlayStation Pro has hit shelves and people have rushed out and bought it with the promise of you can now play your games in 4K and take maximum advantage of all your TV's features. So, people have rushed, bought this, took it home, and then black screen, I can't play my video games. What is wrong with this? So, the PlayStation Pro seems to have connection issues to many, many varieties of TV. This isn't just one TV that PlayStation is having connection issues to. This is a massive range of TVs, everything from LG's to Samsung's to Sony's, you name it, there is connection issues. And what's making the matter even worse is when the PlayStation does decide to connect to a TV, it also is recognizing the wrong resolution. It's telling people that their TV does not support 4K when clearly it does. And to make matters even worse, this isn't a consistent issue. I can hook it up to my LG TV and and it will work fine. I take it out and hook it up to exactly the same type of LG TV and it's saying connection issue! Your TV doesn't support 4K. So what's up Sony? Fix your stuff! We'll follow this article a little bit. Maybe you guys want to tell your viewers not to rush out and buy a PlayStation Pro right now because there's no guarantee it's going to work. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I have been Steph for Staff Shorts, sorry it's been a while since I've done one of these, things have been very busy, but I will be back on a screen near you very soon. Thanks for watching guys.